The Defense Ministry today signed a memorandum of cooperation with the Zongshan Institute of Science and Technology and CSBC, one of the nation's largest shipbuilders to domestically develop and manufacture submarines in Taiwan. President Tsai Ing-wen hailed the agreement, which authorities hope could lead to Taiwan deploying its first sub around 2027. President Tsai Ing-wen was at Zuo Ying Military Harbor in Kaohsiung, where she boarded one of the nation's new locally made Panshi fast combat support ships before it took to sea as part of the Navy's Dunmu fleet. It was the first time that a sitting president had personally helped send off a departing naval fleet. The fleet will carry out a series of training exercises intended to demonstrate Taiwan's naval readiness. The occasion also marked a step forward for Taiwan's efforts to build its own submarines. Building submarines is set to be the most challenging part of our policy for domestically producing defense systems. I also know that there are some out there who are skeptical of this program, but I want to tell everyone that the people of Taiwan have always been ready to take on challenges. Tai also boarded the ROCS Haihu, one of Taiwan's two Dutch-built Jianlong-class submarines, where she was taken on a tour of the vessel's facilities. CSBC Chairman Zhen Wenlong was confident that Taiwan could commission its own submarine within 10 years. I think that 10 years is definitely doable because 8 years is when we're aiming to do sea tests. The first 4 years of our current contract is for design work, and it's not until the second stage when we'll start building the vessels. The building stage should take 3 to 4 years. Previous reports suggest that after European countries rebuff Taiwan's request for technological assistance in its submarine program, authorities may now be seeking U.S. help to retrofit decommissioned subs from Japan. CSBC, though, denied such speculation.